truly a magnificent engraving. Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from Free Dreams 106 channel. Today I'm reviewing a new laser that has just arrived in the lab, which is quite different from the ones I've shown you previously on the channel. I'm talking about the Algo Laser Pixie, a super compact laser that hides some surprises. So, in this video, we'll take a look at the unboxing, the projects I've done with this little machine, and my opinion on this tool, including its pros and cons. So, let's cut the chase and get into it. Let's start with the unboxing, which is super quick. The laser is perfect for those who don't want to fiddle around, because uh, there is literally nothing to assemble. The only thing to connect is the smoke exhaust tube. In fact, this machine arrives ready to use. The box contains some useful accessories, such as a spacer for focusing, a plywood panel for initial testing, along with a couple of aluminum cards, maintenance tools, and a USB-C to USB-A adapter, adapter for using an external USB stick. In just 10 minutes, your laser will be ready to print. As you can see, it is very, a very compact machine but with a good engraving area for machines of this size. In fact, we can engrave on a 10 by 10 cm surface. We can choose between three different laser modules, a 3 watt for super precise engraving, a 5 watts for pre very precise engraving, but also the possibility of cutting some materials, and the 10 watt which is perfect if we plan to cut thicker materials often. For example, I have the 10W version, which can cut even 4mm plywood in a single pass. As you can see, the laser structure is simple and compact. We have this inched cover on the frame, which is very convenient for inserting and moving the material we want to work on, and a top panel that allows us to access the focus wheel, as well as check whether we have centered our support. To center the workpiece properly on the material, we can also use the laser bed, which is um, numbered with this grid. As you can see here at the back, we also have ports for the cables and this hook where we can conveniently hang the focus spacer, which I think is a really nice touch. Here at the back we can also attach the hose to expel the fumes. But now that um, the machine is ready, let's turn it on and get started with our projects. The very first test I did was an engraving to check that everything was working properly. I engraved this lettering which came out perfectly, so I started preparing some more interesting files to engrave and cut with this laser. We can use Lightburn, the Algo Laser app, to send files from our cell phone to our Pixie or prepare projects directly from the touchscreen. These lasers have been designed to be super easy to use. We can also take it with us to do work on site, perhaps even at markets to create customizations on the spot. I want to show you how it performs with different materials. So, Let's start with engraving and then move on with cutting. The second engraving I did after the initial test lettering was this eagle on the spokes leather notebook. I sent the file from my phone using the Algo Laser app, and I think the result is really beautiful. This engraving turned out really well and it was very easy to prepare using the app. Now let's move on to the colored cardstock that I show you in some of my previous videos, a very interesting material for creating fascinating effects. I decided to engrave my logo with this particular style, and this is the result. It turned out really well, and as you can see, the cutting was also problem-free. 
but we'll take a closer look at cutting very soon. In the meantime, let's continue with the engraving, because I want to show you how it works with metal. I selected this blue anodized aluminum tag and used the settings recommended by the parameters stored in the laser memory for coated metal. The result is a clear and precise engraving with excellent contrast. Thanks to the grid, it's very easy to align the pieces. Let's move on to today's last engraving, this time on a material that we haven't covered on the channel yet, cork. Cork is a delicate material that does not like high power, so the modules available for the Algo Laser Pixie are perfect for this material. I decided to engrave the image of a Porsche on the cover and the result is really amazing. The contrast is perfect and the lines are smooth, so truly a magnificent engraving. If you like this video, remember that you can give me a huge boost with a small gesture by leaving a thumbs up or a comment below. Thank you to everyone who supports me. Now let's continue with cutting and I'll start with the most famous material for laser cutting, which is plywood. To test this laser home wood, I decided to make a Christmas decoration that included all three types of processing – line, fill and cut. As you can see, all the passes went well and the result is excellent. I use the other side of the plate for cutting. In fact, the plate can be removed by unscrewing the side screws. And this allows us to turn it over to use the side with the raised grid, which is perfect for preventing pieces from getting dirty during cutting, or to remove it completely to engrave on the surface on which the laser rests. Or even to use the, resting, uh, the rotating module. If we want to work on objects that are taller than the standard laser configuration, we can easily do so by unscrewing these four screws on the back and moving the top of the machine to one of the higher levels. This is a real gem in my opinion. The last laser cutting project I want to show you today is these other Christmas decorations made out of cardboard. Again, I used the secondary side of the plate and cut the two pieces for the projects without any problem. The result is a really cute decoration that will end up on my Christmas tree. Well, now that we have seen all these projects on all these different materials, we can move on to the pros and cons of this machine. So, let's start with the pros. 1. Algo OS they, like its big brother, the AlgoLaser MK2, which I reviewed here, this machine is equipped with the firmware called Algo OS, which allows us to control the laser directly from the touchscreen and create projects without the need for a computer. We can access projects from which we can send ready-made projects to print or select a file from our USB stick. To quickly create and engrave text, we can use the algo type function. Just double click on the screen to start typing, and once the processing parameters have been selected, I can send it to print. Similarly, we can also use the algo sketch function to engrave drawings. Or we can check the position of the machine from control and change the settings we need from settings. 2. The Ergo Laser App. This also makes our life much easier, because we can create projects directly from our cell phone. For example, we can prepare the engraving of an image we have downloaded to our phone in a matter of seconds, or even take advantage of other available features such as creating puzzles or QR codes. 3. Versatility. Although the printing area is limited because Epixi was designed to be a compact laser, we can engrave practically all anywhere thanks to the lifting frame, 
and the removable plate. In addition, the laser modules available for this machine allow us to create and cut a wide range of materials. 4. Ease of use. The firmware, the application, the numbered grid, the removable panel and the parameters automatically suggested by the laser make this machine really easy to use, even for those who are not techies or makers. Plus, there is no assembly required. 5. Price. The cost is really low, because, believe it or not, for only $159, we can take home the 3 watt version, and with my discount code DREAMS10, you will get an additional 10% discount on all products on the Algo Laser website. I will leave all the links below in the description. 6. Accessories. Several accessories are available if we want to take our Pixie to the next level. We can purchase the rotating modules or a small and super compact air purifier, ideal for transport. Now let's move on to the cons of this laser. In all honesty, I haven't found many. In fact, the Algo Laser Pixie has performed really well. If we want to nitpick, we can say that, as far as I can see, the modules are not interchangeable, so we have to choose carefully when purchasing the vantage we need for our projects. The plate is small, but I wouldn't even call this a flow because it's the type of laser that is designed to be compact and portable as well as economical. We can add that uh, this laser does not have air assistant, so the cuts might be not very clean. But this is because it is, it is designed more for engraving rather than cutting. I honestly can't really find any other disadvantages to this machine. It's really well built and it also offers several safety features such as the door sensor or the vibration sensor. I think it's really the perfect tool for anyone who wants a compact laser that's easy to use, affordable and portable. So, I'm curious, let me know what you think of the Algo Laser Pixie below in the comments and in the meantime, if you like this video, you might also want to check out this.